Hey guys, so it's time here to check out a control center uh, tweak here for the Galaxy S6. So I have showed uh, here a, um, a a wallpaper, lock screen wallpaper here uh, that kind of looks like the uh, iPhone UI iOS 8, which is pretty nice. I also showed earlier uh, today a theme here, so it kind of also looks like iOS 8 here. And uh, I as well did a video on a notification center. As you can see here, that kind of looks like I was eight as well. Notification center and the, the calendar area here uh, where you show, uh, you can see events, you can see widgets, you can see my Spotify. So that's pretty nice. So I also have made, uh, mm -hmm. added, added a new one. Uh, which now is a control center. So you can see when I swipe up from the bottom, uh, this little thing pops up as you are kind of familiar with on um, on iPhones. So this tweak is called control center and it has some options. You can have a mini view. So the mini view looks like this. It's just a little bit at the bottom. It doesn't look like you can remove some of these to make it more compact but uh, it is pretty nice because you can see the battery and um, you can also see degrees i think uh, you can also see how much memory is storage is free and uh, you also have a little watch there but you also have things here like your rotation and stuff like that that you can toggle enable or disable uh, let's enable the full view again and you can see that it has a music player. Now the music player does work with the, most of the apps I have um, noticed, all most of the music apps. So I have Spotify uh, installed here. So you can see here, I'm not gonna play any music because yeah, that's not good. Um, but you can see when I click on play here, it actually plays the songs in the background, so it fully works. The one thing that doesn't work though for me is it doesn't change, it's stuck here. It doesn't uh, change the name of the song, so it seems to be a little bit stuck, but play songs and pause them, it definitely seems to be working. You can also volume up and down, which is very, very nice. Um, you can also, as you can see here, you have um, this uh, kind of light here this uh, flashlight you can also add other apps uh, to have quick access to maybe some games or whatever now you want in uh, the little area down here at the bottom so you can see a quick access here to a game asphalt 8 very, very nice uh, you can uh, as well remove things and add things so let's just uh, check that out a little bit quick here so if you go into general settings, uh, you do have a ton of different options here. You can hi I actually hide brightness, but if you want to add it, you can have a quick little brightness slider as well. If you want to have that. And then you can also hide the, the music section if you don't like that. So it's even more compact now again. So yeah, just a quick little video checking that out. Uh, there also is options how you can change how big this little area is down here where you, you tap on to make it uh, appear. And you can as well change the animation, animation settings and the default music player. As you can see, they have a ton of different ones in there. And the, the swipe spot here is basically the area where you swipe at the bottom of the phone. You can make it bigger or smaller. So that is nice. Yeah. So, and you can also change the location if you want it on the sides or something. But uh, I kind of like it. It definitely works. And it's not the best, but uh, it kind of get that, uh, you kind of get that iOS 8 feel uh, at least. So. That's pretty nice. How much like?